What we learned here in Dallas was, number one, that companies recognize that they have this new customer and they have to change their business process to make that customer happy. Uh, number two, we found out that while people know technology is important, they also understand that the major driver of change is not technology, it's people, people management. And number three, we learned that analytics and big data, something we've been talking about for years, the time is now to make those changes. The time is now to get your company to understand algorithms, understand how to collect data that your customers are generating for you, and then use it to make decisions. And there was a common theme that within companies, there's a need to be able to break across different silos and not just think in terms of functional areas, but think about the enterprise and that one customer. And so it was interesting to hear the different stories from different uh, company executives that were here talking about how they are working across uh, the many different silos or, or functional areas within their teams to better serve their customers. I found that very helpful. I think it's very important for companies to zoom out and really think strategically about the role of customer centricity, the role of data analytics, and the role that algorithms can play in terms of uh, reinventing that relationship. Uh, whether it's B2B or B2C, I think, uh, I think that matters. Uh, we, we found that, uh, that uh, they are responding in various spaces, but almost all of them are thinking about these issues and they are trying to innovate and so learning about what they're doing, how it's working, and also ideas about what can be done, I think is valuable to everybody, not only companies as they tackle these problems, but also to us as educators, as we prepare uh, our students to go out and be effective managers in those companies. At DSCI, we developed a data trading framework because we saw that companies need to be able to strategically look at the data that they have and be able to determine the value that it would have to others. There could be low value data that you have that would be extremely valuable to others. The other thing is you need to be able to look for that missing piece. What is that piece of data that you could use, get from others that would come into your company to unlock business potential? The most challenging aspect of that ironically, is not the technology. It's, it's not the processes, even though they're fundamental ingredients. It's really around the change management and getting the data right. Uh, DSCI has developed a, uh, a set of tools to uh, help our members with uh, selecting blockchain use cases and proving the value. Uh, we're all about proving the value. The technology works. Proof of concepts are, is what uh, many people go out and do today. They get all done and they say, yes, the technology works. What we're really focused on is proving the value and helping our members select appropriate use cases to, uh, to use with blockchain. And we're seeing anywhere that there is a traceability element of being able to track information across multiple layers of a supply chain or track returns or, tr or to eliminate counterfeiting is really a great value proposition for blockchain and other technologies to help address all the problem. So as we've, as we've focused on these management competencies, companies naturally would ask, so how do I do this? What tools do you have for me to execute these management competencies? And that's why we, we were very focused on having applied learning as our framework and our mission commitment.